Hello there, fellows and fellowesses, and welcome to the newsreel. Once again, ah, apologies for my slightly unkempt appearance. I went for a run, which was a terrible idea, because I haven't done one of those in far too long, and now I feel horrific. But it'll be fine. On to the gaming news. First story today is that Akami is getting a HD remake on the PS3. Now, if you never played Akami, you played as a sun god wolf who ran around, and when he painted stuff, it came true. So, like, there was a bridge that was knocked out, and you painted it on, and the bridge just appeared. Or you could draw lightning down by painting a line from the... The world was your canvas, and you could do awesome stuff with it, and it was one of the best games I play on PS2. I love that game. Um, and they're remaking it for PS3 on, in HD. I question the point because honestly it wasn't it was a game with a very unique art style and really need HDifying but if you never played it on PS2 and you own a PS3 buy it give give Capcom your money and buy it because it's wonderful it's, it's just wonderful it's it's one of my defining experiences in games um yeah do that do that Second story is that a man known as Clint Hawking, who you probably don't know his name, I don't know his name either, um, he's responsible for such, he was a, one of the big minds behind some of the Splinter Cell games, the first three at least, um, he worked uh, a lot on Far Cry 2, and he joined LucasArts, uh, so Star Wars um, stuff was it was what he was supposed to be working on and everyone was really excited that we were going to get this open world Star Wars game but uh, he's left and instead we have Star Wars 1313 incoming which looks well I've heard some fairly unflattering views calling it uncharted in space which I think is a bit reductive it looks it looks all right but it's not kind of what we were hoping for everyone wants I want to be a Jedi and I want it to happen well no Star Wars connect no. We're not talking about you. you. You go back now. Next story is that PlayStation, or Sony more specifically, has acquired Gaikai. I think that's how it's pronounced, but it's the least offensive way to do it, so it's what I'm sticking to. Gaikai are a streaming service, um, not for video, but for games. Uh, you may remember this if you um, ever saw the on live cloud gaming service on YouTube for those those ads that were incredibly annoying you know the one what is on live what is cloud oh, don't even get me started what it means though is that essentially a game is played on a console somewhere in the world that is powerful enough to run it and it is streamed via the internet straight to your TV so essentially you're using a controller with a with a control a cable the length of half the planet or so. Uh, this is a good idea, in theory, except that you need like a fairly decent internet connection to make it work, so buy for me. Um, and similar. But it's it's pretty cool. But the, the idea is that possibly they won't need to sell new consoles to make this work. Because there's nothing to stop them just putting certain consoles in, but it's it's a weird idea and Honestly, a world where games are just streamed on top of a computer isn't viable yet. So we don't, especially not in the UK. So that's, that's dangerous. But it's a cool step. And it's a sufficiently sci-fi step for someone like the PlayStation guys. And the final story today, for all you Assassin's Creed fans like me. There was a new Assassin's Creed 3 trailer released. And it's all to celebrate Independence Day, which means it shows much more. It just shows a whole load of... Of, Brit of Brits doing horrible things in, a w in the war and I don't know this game is worrying me slightly because I want it to be good good God I want it to be good but Assassin's Creed was always really focused on there wasn't a good team except the assassins themselves regular people were kind of stupid and just went to war over stuff and the Templars were the bad guys and they were sort of everywhere trying to get everyone to kill each other so at the minute, it seems to be more that Assassin's Creed 3 is just having the British as the bad guys and the Americans as the good guys. Whereas really, it's a war. There's no such thing as good guys. Everyone's killing everyone. 
And the Templars should be on both sides, not just in the British. It want this game to have the moral ambiguity of its predecessors. Because that's what made it great. It's what made those conspiracy theory stories so cool. So don't fail me, Ubisoft. You and your team of multicultural and multi-faith directors. Thank you very much for watching the newsreel today. It has been a pleasure as always. I'm going to be playing around with settings and my setup for this so that maybe my recording quality will increase drastically over the next few days. And I want to make an intro. If you have any ideas for an intro, there's a comment section. You know what to do. If you've found anything in here, in this video informative or interesting, or have any questions, or feel the urge to yell something, again, comment section, thumbs up button. It's big, it's green, it looks like this. And I will see you all next time, my lovely fellows and fellowesses. Adieu.